Hey everyone, this is Joanne coming to you live from New York. I'm also known as hashtag unicorn boss. So as you guys are jumping online tonight, go ahead and hit me up with some unicorn emojis because those are my jam. If you're grabbing me live, go ahead and leave me a number one. And if you're catching me on the replay, go ahead and leave me a number two. So I'm doing a late night keto snack tonight, you guys, but you could feel free to use this at any time in your keto journey. This makes a, a great brunch, a, a great lunch, or just when you want a great and healthy keto snack so who here enjoys bacon less ba <laughs> how do you say that BLTs let's just make it easy BLT so if you enjoy P BLT sandwiches go ahead and comment with a BLT below I would be curious to know and if you love bacon you can go ahead and definitely hit me up with some bacon emojis so thanks you guys for popping online welcome I see a bunch of you guys jumping online don't forget to say hi and let me know where you're coming in from if you're grabbing me live go ahead and leave me a number one and if you're catching me on the replay go ahead and leave me a number two so let's get ready to get started you guys thanks for the bacon emojis so I see a bunch of them popping up online here so if you love bacon go ahead and leave me those bacon emojis so let me go over the macros with you guys real quick this is a quick and easy BLT sandwich that is keto friendly you could have this as a great healthy snack or take it in your lunches this also makes kind of like a nice breakfast too um, if you're having like a later type brunch you could even do some hard-boiled eggs on here and help up the protein so these are the macros that I have you for you today for this quick and easy recipe it's got 548 total calories three grams of total carbs so definitely low on the carb scale 11 grams of protein which is pretty great and then 55 grams of total fat so I love the fat in this one here and as you guys know it takes fat to burn fat so if you're keto don't be afraid to get in your healthy fats because that is uh, a great and sure way to help up your weight loss gain so thank you so much for sharing Bethany I so appreciate the love and support by the way you guys if you enjoy my page and you learn lots of fun things about keto here and you have a great time don't forget to go ahead and share this video out I so appreciate your love and support I'm loving all the bacon emojis you guys and all of the unicorns you are totally my hero so I don't know it was getting late and I was just kind of feeling like I was ready for a little snack. So I thought, you know, I knew I hadn't done a live video tonight with you guys. So I thought I would show you how easy it is to have like a, a late night kind of, you know, when you get that urge and you just something want something a little salty, a little, I don't know, spicy, special, that type of thing. Um, but you could feel free, like I said, to have this at any point um, in your day whenever you are looking to have a nice and healthy keto meal. So I just made some, and if you're having a hard time seeing, feel free to swipe the comments to, a, to the side for a quick second. Um, I just made some bacon in the air fryer. My very first time ever doing it, and it came out amazing, you guys. Look at how nice and crispy this bacon came out. So it's not a lot of ingredients here to do um, a nice keto friendly BLT. I've got some bacon. I've got tried to pick out some really nice <laughs> um, leaves of romaine. Ideally, you want some without holes, you guys. So <laughs> this isn't going to work too well for applying my uh, mayo to it. But you know, we'll do what we got to do here. But I just try to get some nice big leafy pieces of romaine. And then I've also got some um, <clears throat> keto friendly mayo here which I'm really excited to try. And then I'm gonna throw some avocado on here instead of doing a tomato. So I hate to break your all's hearts, but I'm not really a fan of fresh tomatoes. I love tomato sauce, but I'm just going to do something a little bit different here and give it a little nice twist. So um, yeah, so the most important things to doing this successfully, so that way it helps support your weight loss journey and your keto macros, is to make sure you're using uncured bacon. So I did a video pretty recently Recently where I talked about the hidden sugars and I asked you guys to leave me ninja emojis because sugar is hidden everywhere um, and it's unfortunately it's like I it's I don't know, it's so frustrating to me. I like to say it's of the devil. Like, sugar is literally everywhere and it's hidden everywhere, so sometimes you have to be really careful. And bacon is definitely one of the ways that you have to be careful because a lot of times they're cured and they've got a ton of sugar in them. So make sure you're getting yourself a nice, if you can, you know, grass-fed, no antibiotics, uncured bacon. So <laughs> thanks for sharing my holy uh, romaine there, Shauna. I so appreciate it. <laughs> So the other key to making this uh, recipe successful is to make sure you're using, if you wanted to put mayo on here, of course it's totally optional, but if you're going to do mayo, make sure you're doing a nice keto-friendly mayo. Mayo is definitely one of those uh, 
uh, ingredients that's got potato starch and sugar and some hidden things. So I'm going to share with you my favorite keto-friendly mayo here. This is from Thrive, the Thrive Market. It's called Primal Kitchen Avocado uh, Mayo here. So it's really, really good. I'm going to go over the macros with you. And actually, maybe I do have a normal mayo in my fridge um, because we have, you know, my boyfriend uses normal mayo. So I will show you kind of what the difference is. Just give me a quick second. I'm going to grab it. So I figured while I have you all here, and it might be a great learning opportunity for some of you, hopefully you enjoy it. I'll keep this quick and then we'll go into making, I mean, this is simple. We're just going to make a sandwich real quick, obviously. But here's like a normal Hellman's olive oil mayo. I mean, it looks like it's a good choice. It says it's made with cage-free eggs and whatnot, and it's got olive oil in it. So it seems like it's a good choice, but you always got to remember to take a look at the back of the back and take a look at the ingredients. So it's got water as the first ingredient and soybean oil is the second ingredient. And I don't, for, it depends on whether you're doing strict keto, keto, dirty keto, lazy keto, but if you are trying to do the best thing for your body, soybean oil is definitely something you wanna stay away from because it does increase inflammation in the body. That was something I didn't know when somebody actually taught to me. So now I've been trying to really check my ingredients and I'm really surprised that soybean oil is the second ingredient on here. Of course, it's got olive oil and eggs, which is fine. And then like the fourth ingredient is of course potato starch and then we've got vinegar salt and sugar so um, definitely not keto friendly your typical mayonnaise so in case you didn't know um, if you have a keto friendly mayo that you love to use feel free to go ahead and comment and share the brand in here I would love to learn uh, about some of the choices that you guys use so this is the primal kitchen uh, avocado mayo which I really like I'll just go over uh, what's on the back here real quick in case you're curious and I do have a thrive market codes. If you want to save some money off of your first box, you can just comment thrive and I'll pop back through and I'll give you my code. So this here is a uh, primal and paleo and keto approved. It's sugar free, soy and canola free, dairy free, gluten and grain free. And the ingredients literally are avocado oil, cage free eggs, um, vinegar, sea salt, rosemary, and that's it. So um, for the, it's a, a serving size is a tablespoon. It's got 12 grams of fat per tablespoon and absolutely zero added sugars and it's actually zero carbs. So this is a really, really great way, sorry, <laughs> a really, really great way to spice up some of your uh, keto cooking and not have to worry about the hidden carbs and the hidden sugars. So, and yes, absolutely, you could totally make your own, Shauna. I know you're like the expert at that. I still haven't played around with it. So if you take a look at the normal mayo, it's got one gram of carb and... Uh, I'm trying to find the sugar here. Um, I don't see it listed on here, but I know there's sugar in this one as well. So definitely not as good of a choice. So let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and uh, start building our sandwich here. So yes, and this one is the avocado mayo in, but you can get it without, they have different flavors. So you can just get the same brand, uh, just a different flavor. And then you don't have to worry about having the avocado oil in there. So, oh no, it was a fail last time, Sean. I did not know that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we're just gonna start assembling our sandwich here. Hey, Courtney, thanks for popping on. Hi, Christina, thanks for sharing. Hi, Luna, I saw you there for a quick minute. So I love that you guys are up late night here. That makes me a little bit happy, so. <laughs> So how was everybody's Saturday? I'd be curious to know how your weekend went. Um, <laughs> I had the most relaxing day today. It was really, really wonderful. So step one is you're just going to take hopefully some nice big pieces of romaine that do not have holes in them <laughs> and go ahead and put some, um, some uh, keto-friendly mayo on here. So that's what I'm doing right now. Hey, thanks, Karen, for the love. I am the unicorn mama. You guys know I love unicorns. So uh, somebody, I posted a really cute photo of my chihuahua today, and somebody told me that I needed to get him a unicorn horn, and that's, like, going to be the next project, I think. Like, I totally think he needs a unicorn horn to be happy. So, <laughs> so I'm only going to play with putting the mayo, I think, on one side of my uh, romaine. Of course, you could do whatever you wanted here, you guys. So thanks for sharing. Courtney, I so appreciate it. 
chosen mayo has honey. Oh, I didn't know that. So thanks for sharing that. I appreciate it. Tina, I have tried the 90 second bread. I've tried a few different recipes and I do love it and enjoy it. It's not something that I do all the time, but you know, in a pinch, if you want to, you can definitely make the 90 second bread. I just was kind of feeling, feeling to have a little bit more fresh and easy, quick and easy right now because it's so late at night. So, and I love to pack this in. Um, I have like those nice, not one this big, but I have like a flat glass container um, that's perfect for just packing as a lunch. And I put my, my romaine leaves in there and my bacon and everything. And then I assemble it when I get uh, to work at my lunch time. And I find it's perfect for me to uh, kind of pack my lunch or get my lunch going. So I've just got a nice fresh avocado here. I'm gonna add this to my sandwich and I'm just gonna do some nice slices here. Um, nothing, nothing too special. So, <laughs> yeah, I think the little chihuahua needs a unicorn horn. I think that would be hysterical, especially with his big ears. So if you have a fur baby, go ahead and comment what kind of animal you have and feel free to share their name below. I would love to know. And then once the live feed is back, is over if you guys want to swing back through and share a photo of your fur baby I would love that so I just went through and kind of sliced the avocado and then if you grab a spoon you can kind of just scoop it out I don't know if this is like the correct way to do it but it's the way that I like to do it so <laughs> I'm just gonna put some of these on here on this other side and this is gonna be like not the easiest most pretty thing to eat but you know who cares? Who cares? You know what I mean, you guys? You only live once. So um, if I had some bigger pieces of romaine here, uh, it would make it a little bit easier. So there we go. That is essentially it. Of course, I've got food everywhere here. <laughs> a Yorkie named Novia. Oh, that is so sweet. Izzy and Kitty Boos. I love it. Make sure you guys send me photos later because I love to see all of the fur babies. So let me get a little plate here and hopefully so that we can uh, show you guys what this is looking like. It looks really, really good. So this is definitely going to satisfy my late night snacking urge. Um, and if you cut it in half even, I think it'll be a little bit easier to eat. So that's essentially it, you guys. I've just got some lettuce, some nice bacon. We've got our, our avocados on there and our keto-friendly mayo. And I'm just gonna top it up here. So once you put the top on, that's it. So it's all right in there. And I literally just grab it like a sandwich and I just go to town and I enjoy it. So, um, <laughs> you know, it's not that hard to be keto, you guys. Um, I hope you learned a few new things about keto tonight and maybe gave you an idea about how you could do something so quick and easy for either a brunch or a lunch or even a late night snack. Um, this is a really great healthy way to do a BLT sandwich. So thank you all so much for joining me tonight and popping on. If we're not friends yet, don't forget to go ahead and send me a friend request and hit follow. Follow. And if you had fun on the video, go ahead and uh, share the video out to your friends and family. I so appreciate your love and support. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I'll be back to chat with you guys again tomorrow. Take care.